22 minutes past seven here on Breakfast with Trish. Now, a Stratford student is swapping her textbooks for the high seas as she prepares to set sail with an all-female crew on the first leg of a round-the-world mission to investigate ocean plastics. 37-year-old student Natalie Fox is currently studying at Anglia Ruskin University. is a member of the expedition crew for the first leg of the trip, which will leave Plymouth later on today. And I'm delighted to say that She's made time in the morning to spend time speaking to us. Good morning, Natalie. Good morning, Trish. Okay, well, you spent the first night on the boat last night as you get ready to set sail. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very excited, a little bit groggy. It was really nice to sleep on the boat and uh, get used to the bed and the the quarters situation because it's quite small down there. Um, But I'm excited to leave. Okay, and how many women are going to be joining you on this voyage? So there's nine that are volunteers and then we have a professional crew of four and Emily Penn is our mission leader. Okay, so 14 women in a confined place. Are you mad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a watch rotation, so we're not all going to be rushing around at the same time. Some people will be at sleep and then we'll, there'll be lots to do being on deck and also doing the science programme. Okay, so tell us exactly what you're going to be doing. It's all around single-use plastics, isn't it, the impacts of this? Yeah, so really what happens after those plastics have made it into the ocean and broken down into microplastics. So we're taking samples from the surface, from the subsurface and from the sediments. And everywhere we go, we're going to be collecting data and it's a round-the-world voyage. How long will it take you? So I'm just doing the first leg, which is two weeks to the Azores, but the boat is going to be going around the world for two years. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> Good job. You've got just two weeks. You can hop off. I know. <laughs> um, what, I mean, you know, like I say, it's, it's, it's wonderful. Life's all about adventures and, and stuff. But is there part of you that's a little bit, just a little bit frightened? I, I'm a little bit nervous about the challenge of being at sea. This has definitely been described as the most challenging leg because we're going into a headland and we're going towards the Azores in late October. So it's not going to be smooth seas, that's for sure. And also what we're going to find out there in terms of plastic, um, that's going to be quite, I imagine, shocking. OK. All right, so um, you set sail tonight, well, later on today. What time? Yeah, 2pm from Plymouth Harbour. OK. Uh, people always carry little things with them. What have you got from home? Um, well, actually, we're not really allowed to bring that much. Oh. <laughs> so it's just the essentials. I have one bar of chocolate. Oh, that's good. I'm glad, yeah. the, I'm <laughs> glad the chocolate's tough. got in there. Well, we are so proud of you. And like you say, oh, uh, you. swapping the textbooks for the experiments for the, uh, for two weeks at least. It's going to be brilliant. Uh, are you going to be doing regular updates from the boat that we can see what you're doing? Yes, people can tune in via X Expedition, which is E double X. E, uh, P E D I O N. Hopefully, I've said that right. dot yeah. com, and you can track the boat live, and then, of course, on our social media channels. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll definitely do that. Wonderful. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Stratford student Natalie Fox. Uh, <laughs> wonderful. You. Off you go. Uh, who's a member of the X E X Expedition crew for the first leg of the trip, which will leave Plymouth later on at about two o'clock today.